The unfortunate truth is many attacks could be avoided if we just took the appropriate action. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Houston, Texas. Shows us here a robbery, a mugging, an assault on a woman that I think is eminently avoidable. It's gonna teach us the important lessons about awareness and about seeing threats coming from a long way away, about using the time that awareness brings to de-escalate, escape, and evade, and about the importance of having our tools on us. So this guy is walking from the right here and this lady from the left, and you can see him starting to angle for her a little bit here. And once he's got her attention, he is going to go ahead and victimize her. He's going to grab a hold of her and knock her over. And thankfully, he does not want anything beyond her purse in this instance because she really doesn't have anything to do if he decides he wants something more. Once he gets a hold of her purse, he runs off and event evidently police are still looking for him. Let's go learn some lessons on this one. First one is you got to pay attention to things that are a ways away from you because this guy is walking this way towards the fence when his his actual path around the fence is this other way and therefore that should have been a warning to her that he's going towards an area where there's no way for him to get through and an awareness like that buys you time and times buys you options but she keeps walking into it here when you see a threat coming a long way away that gives you options to get to your defensive tools to back away to not let that guy get close to you but she doesn't do that here she continues to walk into a threat don't walk into a threat now, she walks all the way into it until such time as he's close enough to her, she has to start backing away because he says he wants, you know, her person, whatever. So yes, backing up is great, but better than that would have been to see it from a long way away and be able to either run away from it or have your tool staged. If she had a great OC here, that probably would have gotten rid of the guy. A taser here or a firearm here would have kept that guy away from her and she, I'm sure, should have, you know, would have been able to say, hey, listen, this guy was a threat to my being. I'm a woman here alone at night. Wouldn't have been a problem. Now, this guy runs off. Thankfully, all he wanted was her purse and that we're very grateful for that. But let's be sure that he could have taken anything from her he wanted, including her body. So let's make sure that we are aware that we see problems coming a long way away, that we have our tools on us and a willingness to use them so that we're not victimized by this lady so that we can cover our ASP.